welcome back to Let's Go Racing. We have such a great community of horsemen on our backside here at Parks Racing, and we got to meet one of our trainers, Harold Wiley, and I caught up with him in his barn earlier this week. We love for our Let's Go Racing fans to meet some of our trainers. We are on the Parks Racing Backstrex with trainer Harold Wiley. Thanks for joining us. Tell everyone how you even got into horse racing and begun training. You know what, it's a lifetime dream for me. I wanted to be a jockey, but of course I was way too big since I was growing up in Jamaica. And when I came here, I started going to the races. And when I had enough money to get my first horse, my brother and I get a couple. And I've been doing it since 1989. Take us through your journey. So now you're, um, you know, a, a mid-sized trainer, but you have staff and a lot of horses. You're into the breeding. Uh, take us through like what a day-to-day -day is for you. Very hectic. Get up four o'clock in the morning. Probably get home sometime at eight o'clock at night. It never ends. From here to the farm, and breaking babies, and I do it all. I breed horses, uh, break horses at the farm and then come in and work, then go back to the farm after the races here most evenings. And that's how my days go, uh, long days. What for you is the most fulfilling? Uh, when I win with a horse that I bred. That is one of the most fulfilling thing. And also some horses that I buy very cheap at the Erlen sale and they turn out to be decent horses, yeah. Let's talk about some of those horses. You've done really well. Some of your top earners, Ivory Empress, Nice Tune, Coupella. What have some of those horses been to your career? Oh, they, trust me, even on my phone, my screen, I have Nice nice Tune on it. I claim him for 7,500, and I went quite a few with him. Uh, Coupella, I claimed her, and she did excellent for me. And thank God our baby will be here March 1st, our first baby and she have another one coming after that. And some of these horses I buy for peanuts and they have done me very well, you know? So that's about it. Um, what's something you like to do for fun that's not horse racing involved, that maybe people would be surprised? Hanging out with my children and my granddaughter, that's it. <laughs> I don't do much of anything. Well, your whole life is horse racing. Thanks for sharing a little bit with us and getting to know you. And uh, good luck with your babies. We'll be looking out for that Coupella foal. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I name her off my granddaughter, Anaya's Gold. And I'm looking forward to have her at the racetrack. Uh, always fun to go back in the barns and learn a little bit about these trainers. They are quite dedicated. It is not just a job, it's a lifestyle. It's 24-7. There is no break. There are no vacations or very few. Yeah, we'll be rooting on that homebred for Harold Wiley.